Understand your data, people and events. People and events power messaging at Customer.io. People are anyone you're trying to market to. They're your customers. Your customers perform events like view a page on your app or purchase a product. Events, then, are customer actions. You can save all sorts of information on a person from their name to the last product they purchased. This information is called attributes, your customer's data. Events can also have attributes like the name of the page the person just viewed. Let's say your company is a marketplace for online classes. In this case, your people are students. You could send events anytime a student views your course catalog, enrolls in a class, and completes a survey on teacher performance. And you could save information to their profile like their enrollment status or the last course they purchased. Let's dive into people. On the people page, you'll see a list of your customers. You can add people programmatically and manually through this page. Click add people in the top right and you'll see a list of options. To add people programmatically, you can integrate with our customer data platform called Data Pipelines or set up integrations with Segment, your database, forms, and more. With the help of developers, you can integrate with our APIs and use our JavaScript snippet and mobile SDKs to add people directly from your app. Or maybe you want to add people not stored in your database, like a list of leads from a conference or an export from another platform. No problem. You can also import a CSV as well as Google Sheet or manually enter a person's details. Click on any person and you'll find an overview of their attributes, event activity, and more. An attribute is anything you know about a person, their name, email, subscription status, and more. An event is something a person does on your website or app, like viewing the course catalog, purchasing a course, or completing a survey. With each event, you can send event attributes, any data related to the person and event that you want to store. In the Relationships tab, you'll see what objects people are related to. Objects are useful for organizing data that's related to a specific entity, but distinct from it. For instance, if you manage people's enrollments, you could create a course object, like in this example. The object would hold details about the course, like its name, start date, and level, while the relationship would store info on the people enrolled, like whether they're a student or instructor. You can always go to your data index to see a list of attributes stored across your people. Now let's look closer at events. You can view a list of events or customer actions in your data index, too. This includes a list of events that have been sent to your workspace in the last 30 days. To take advantage of your audience's real-time data, you can send events programmatically through one or more integrations with our customer data platform, data pipelines, mobile SDKs, JavaScript snippet, or our out-of-the-box integrations. You'll need a developer to help you with most of these. You can also send events through campaign and broadcast actions. Drag and drop send event onto the canvas to track customer actions as people move through your workflows. Finally, you can import events like people to store historical data that might not exist in your integrated platforms. Just know that this event data can trigger campaigns upon import like any other event. Click on an event in your data index, and you'll see whether this event is used in any segments or campaigns. We'll get to segments in the next video. Then at the bottom, you'll see the most recent activity. Here, you can see the person associated with the event and any event attributes sent over. Remember that event attributes are any data related to the event like the name and date of a course they completed. Back on a person's page, you can also click Activity to view event data for a single person. Next, let's put this data to use with segments and personalized messages.